Hey, what's up? This is Heather J. And I wanted to do a review of Batman Hush today because I watched it and I thought it was discussion worthy. The way all uh, DC animations are discussion worthy, that's what makes them so awesome, is that we can watch them and actually want to talk about them when we're done. Unlike Marvel animations, which I put on just to go to sleep, except uh, Wolverine versus the Hulk, which was actually pretty good. Anyway, uh, back to Batman Hush. Let's get to it. So, Hush came out last Saturday, July 20th, and it was written by Jim Lee, who those of you who know comics know, he has been a writer on both sides, Marvel and DC, for many years. He's written for the X-Men, he's written for the Punisher, and in 2012, he's the one that rebooted the Justice League, and the animation of that is called Justice League War, which is very good, by the way, if you want to see it. I think it's what the movie probably should have been, should have been. Okay, that's a different conversation for a different time. Anyway, back to the bat. So, um, okay, so this Batman was a little different from what we've been seeing from the last few Batman animations, which is we, they gave us historical Batman, Ninja Batman, Batman fights Jack the Ripper, and then they gave us Ninja Turtle Batman, and Hush is, is back to the bat we know and love. A masked vigilante fighting the freaks that dress up and do crazy stuff in this city that nobody knows what state it's in. Gotham. <laughs> okay, so uh, I loved it. I'm not even gonna lie, I loved it. It was uh, the old Batman. It was um, almost all the villains are in it. Um, you get, and it gave us a far less annoying Damien Wayne, um, who was acting like a child instead of acting like the grandson of a demon and you didn't want to whoop him the whole time like you did um, in Son of Batman and Batman versus Robin. And <laughs> all the times you just wanted to put him over your knee and send him to bed with no TV. Um, so all in all, I did enjoy it. And I recommend if you haven't seen it, you do watch it. And I also want you guys to go in the comments and tell me if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and why. So let's just chop it up. Because like I said, discussion, people, discussion. Not just me talking, discussion. My favorite line in the movie was when Batman and Superman were having their usual, um, I don't want to spoil it, but they're usually, you know, I usually have like a little mm, mm, mm between the two of them. And uh, at one point, Batman was defending Superman, and he said, deep down inside, he's a good man. And deep down inside, I'm not. And I just love that line so much. I love it when Batman goes super dark. It just makes my little animated panties get all animated wet because my real panties can't get wet because I'm a human and he's a cartoon. So in order for that to pop off, I have to draw myself, which leads me to my erotic DC art, which um, if you come in the comments and subscribe to the channel, I'll, I'll send to you. I will send to you. Uh, for for four dollars and I'll put my cash app in in the comments. Okay. All right <laughs> What I didn't like was the way they redrew Amanda Waller because now they're making her look more like Viola Davis like she's small and she's short hair and don't get me wrong Viola Davis, you know, she's a tough chick, but big fat black evil heifer Amanda Waller was scary you know, especially as a black person, because we all got like an auntie or a grandma or our mama got a friend that's a big fat black woman and she don't take no stuff. So when as soon as you see Amanda Waller drawn like that, you already know like, ha, 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 Amanda Waller is beating all the kids. Amanda Waller threw your uncle out with her bare hands one night. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what she gave off. And now she's just like looking all thin in Hollywood and... Like, what you going to do? You skinny, Viola Davis, Amanda Waller. What you going to do? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I could take her. I feel like I could just, like, push her down. Whatever. In conclusion, in conclusion, um, subscribe to the page because I'm going to start doing these on the regular, okay? Pennyworth is coming on, I think, tomorrow, and I'm going to have a review up the next day, okay? We're going to talk about tough guy Alfred and whether or not we want to be bothered with this in our life uh, we're going to talk about Swamp Thing we're going to talk about um, 
Doom Patrol. I'm going to do it because I do all this stuff on everybody else's podcast and stuff all the time. And now I'm going to do it for myself. So by all means, subscribe to the channel. Um, talk about it. Don't spoil it. And if you do spoil it, put put spoiler at the top and then like return a couple of times so that people that don't want to know. Because uh, I'm trying not to give it away, which is why my review is kind of limited a little bit. But in the comments, if it's a spoiler thread and we announce it as such, I don't mind getting into a little more detail. And by all means, um, like the page if you're watching this on Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube. And have a wonderful DC day. Okay? I love you all. Bye.